So tonight, I am making pork carnitas. I'm trying to do a spin on a Mexican recipe because I crave Mexican, but with my new diagnosis, um, I'm obviously not able to consume Mexican at the level that I once was. I have put the pork for the pork carnitas in my crock pot, my crock pot, my slow cooker um, this morning. I put them in at like nine o'clock. What I did was I got like a two and a half pound pork shoulder or um, shoulder or I don't know, I got a shoulder. I added in there some Mexican spices. So I'm gonna write the exact um, recipe below. But just basically, it was like paprika and salt and pepper, obviously, some chipotle paste, um, a half of a can of like cider. You can get non alcoholic cider. And um, just a few more things. I'm going to do the exact recipe below. I let it cook on the slow cooker the majority of the day. Now it looks like this. Straight up bliss. I'm gonna serve it in um, some whole wheat tortillas because they're great for carbs. Maybe I won't even use one. And then these are the sides. And then right now I'm making a Mexican cauliflower rice. So what I have in here are just, it's a whole jalapeno chopped up, a whole yellow onion, and, um, a, and a little bit of garlic chopped up, like four cloves. Cause you guys always ask the exact amount. Now I'm gonna put in some cumin. So I'd say about, I don't know, a, a large spoon, like a tablespoon-ish of this. And then I'm gonna add in um, about half that amount of paprika. So now I'm gonna mix that up in there. Now some of these vegetables that I'm putting in here cook at different paces, obviously, so that's why I'm going ahead and throwing these in first. And then I'm gonna throw in the tomatoes, which are next. You can get um, two tomatoes and cut them up like pretty small and after that cooks for about two minutes you're also gonna put some salt in there like a large pinch of salt and then you're gonna throw in about three quarters of a cup of bell pepper and your cauliflower rice cooking is easy no excuses you ain't got no excuses I'm gonna throw in about three quarters of a cup of um, chopped bell pepper you can do red green yellow I like to do a mix just for the color I found this this was at Publix it was the whole jar already done I also have taken just a huge cauliflower and put it in my food processor, but that's really like Food Network, so let's just get real. Like make it as easy as you can. Still cook everything at your house and like from scratch like this, but if there's an easy step like that, that you can make a little bit easier, do that. This is perfect, especially because it's low carb, it's low sugar. I mean, I don't think it has any sugar actually. And it's just kind of that really great substitute for Mexican. Then you can obviously throw a little bit of um, cilantro on the top of that. Squeeze a little bit of lime juice, or my personal fave, add the hottest hot sauce that you have available at your disposal. I can't even call it like a mock Mexican because it's like legit Mexican meal. And I'll show you the carnitas after the set. All has arrived home. And he um, he wants his without a wrap, so I'm just doing it in this bowl. So I put all of this in there, and then I scooped some of that delicious gravy. It's a Mexican Thanksgiving up in here. You want a bit of here? Are you excited? Oh. oh. Da, 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 <laughs> Squeeze that. Mm -hmm. Bam! Spice it up a notch. <laughs> and a dollop of that. Oh, I had it in a pretty colander ready for you to put on there, but you missed it, okay. What did? <laughs> oh, two dollops. Okay. Two scoops, it's Thursday. Okay. Bada bing, bada bing. Okay. So this is what mine looks like, and I put mine in the wrap, and I put all those toppings on mine. Kyle one he's a little different, because he's a little different. Um, This is really great if you're on Weight Watchers, or if you have gestational diabetes or whatever. It's like free game. So the only thing that's even bad, but it's not bad, on my plate is that whole wheat wrap, and it's not even that bad. So we're doing good tonight. I am headed into the endocrinologist, so this is the doctor that's gonna tell me everything that I need to know about checking my sugar and maintaining the right diet to hopefully keep this under control without medication. I'm gonna give you a little update because we just got back from the endocrinologist. Never thought I'd be adding that name to the list, but here we are. I say all the time that the hardest things and the challenges they do bring about positive things. So I'll start with the positives. 
I've lost weight because I've drastically changed my diet and Cracker Barrel is no longer allowed for a minute. <laughs> I feel much better. So at night, like when I was getting out of bed and getting into bed and just throughout the day, like my body just, it was hard to move and hard to just like maneuver through the day. Since I've been eating this way that I have to eat in order to avoid taking insulin or an insulin shot, my body has felt right. Sometimes you don't even realize that you feel wrong until you feel right, you know? My doctor's great. His name is Taylor and Kyle loves it because he's really cute. <laughs> so I was like, this is fine. I don't mind this that much anymore. <laughs> no, I still mind it, but that helps. <laughs> So these are the things that I have to do in order to track my blood sugar to stay off of the medication. The first resort is diet, diet and exercise. Second resort is taking pills, the times that your blood sugar typically spikes. And the third is insulin shots, which obviously you don't want. Apparently, when you have gestational diabetes or diabetes, any kind of sugar problem, when you exercise, it's like free, free, free sugar regulation. <laughs> So he gave me this sheet and a meal plan, like a meal plan to stay under. So I have to write in all of my um, blood sugar levels four times a day, which the only thing that stinks is like pricking your finger that hurts, but I mean, birth, it's gonna hurt. So I probably should get used to that. And he gave me this really nice booklet. I'm not for sure why they've chosen a baker as the model for um, a diabetic or a gestational diabetic but you never know people's reasoning behind things. I also don't know why they've chosen this really scary rendering of a woman and her son to show diabetes management. But hey, if you're looking for a new model diabetes, here's your girl. I have to use this little thing. You set it on this dial. So this dial, mine says four. A 10 means that little tiny needle in there is gonna prick out really far and stick a really far hole in your finger. My meaty little fingers seem to be working at like a four. So you start on this side of your finger and then the next time you prick, you go to this side. Then you go to this and then you go to this and then you go to this. Some of them hurt more than the other ones and it does hurt, like this tiny prick really does hurt. It's, it's all good, it's all for a good reason. So here is what I test my blood sugar with. I mean, it's a tiny needle, but tiny but deadly. You cock it like a gun. Let's see, where do I want to stick my finger? This is so exciting, choosing where you want to stick your finger. Ow! <laughs> it hurts. So it, it tracks this and then it tests it, or it tests it, then it tracks it. It keeps it like all in there. And um, then I'll send this over to my doctor once every seven days. All right. So, now I have a willing participant, so we're gonna check Kyle's blood sugar. Oh. Oh. So this is just from his coffee. I had, I had a little breakfast this morning. Seven hours ago, what did you have? A sausage and biscuit. From McDonald's. That was forever ago, so he hasn't even had. Now I see you racking that all the way up. I was making Hell it a no. five. Don't make it a three, don't waste my needle. You did it in a three. No, I do fours now. Oh. A little bit meatier than once. Do I need to cock it? No, you don't need to do anything. I'm the diabetes professional. You can't waste a needle, so you better get it on the first time. Oh, you're scared? <laughs> 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 Welcome to my life! <laughs> Come on! You got it so low. Just do it! Hold it on there hard, you have to push it. Hush, let me do it, golly. Oh, does that hurt or it feels good? It's not too bad. What was your, what was the setting one? Okay, here we go. Four. I thought it was worse than that. Oh my gosh. That's not good. What is it? That's bad. 126. You it's supposed to be to... under 140. No. That's hours and hours after your meal. Yeah. Two, three, four. Four hours, you add all those up, and I'm well under them. It's not looking That's good. good. It's not good. Anyway. Call Taylor. We see who's the superior one here. <laughs> Thanks for watching.